Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all well. In today's video, I'm gonna be creating this whole look right here. I've gone for like a soft spotlight. A couple of you guys have said that spotlights is something that you struggle with and you want a couple of tutorials on it. So I'm gonna do a soft spotlight today and then in the next video or Sunday's video, I'm gonna do a cut crease spotlight. I wanted to cover both bases, like of a soft spotlight and a cut crease one as well. It's better if I do both. And I kind of went for a little bit of a green theme today. I'm feeling very spring this week and I feel like I've not done a green eye in ages so we've gone green today recycle <laughs> what am i even saying so guys if you want to be this week's notification bell shout out all you have to do is subscribe to my channel turn the notification bell on and leave me a lovely little comment saying you've done that and i could just be shouting you out in my channel either in the next video or sunday's video and before we begin, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and leave me a lovely little comment in the comment section below. So if you want to see how I got this spotlight green look, then keep on watching. All right guys, so my eyelids are primed with the P. Louise base in the shade number four. I haven't finished my skin off yet. I haven't done my highlighter and blusher because I've got a new highlighter that I want to try out today. I'm going to do it afterwards. So I'm going to do eyes first and then I'm going to do the skin and the lip later. So the palette that I'm going to be using today is the James Charles palette. Um, it's got a beautiful like green shade in it which I want to use so so the first thing I'm going to do is take this fluffy blending brush from the Beauty Bay Iconic brush set it's kind of like a blending brush but it's also like flat when you turn it on its side as well and I'm going to go in with this dark matte green shade here and what I'm going to do is start packing that on at the outside of my eye and I'm using the shape of the brush to kind of place that product down so doing a spotlight is a little bit different to doing kind of like just your normal kind of like cut crease. What is this part of my hair sticking up, please? It's a Monday, let's just ignore my hair. Let's also ignore the fact I'm wearing a gym t-shirt and I'm not going to the gym today, so there's that. So what I'm doing is I'm just buffing this shade right on the outer corner at first, and I'm gonna create like a semicircle shape around my eye. But I'm actually gonna take it just above the crease because I wanna add a dark shade as well. So I'm just taking that green shade right the way around and I'm going above my crease. So when I open my eyes, you can still see that green shade. And then when I get to my inner corner part, I'm gonna bring it right down into my inner corner and I'm creating that kind of like round shape. And this brush is actually perfect for this because it's the perfect shape and size to get right in your inner corner and right on your outer corner as well. So now that the product's laid down, I'm just gonna intensify that and make sure the color's really strong. So when you're creating looks like this, I think it's important to look at the shape that you're actually doing. When you're doing a spotlight and you're creating that real like rounded eye, it's important to kind of like really round it off in this corner because our natural instinct kind of like fades it, whereas you need to bring it right into that inner corner. Like here, I need to really make that round instead of how it looks now. So staying in the James Charles palette, I'm gonna take that same brush that we just used and go in with this dark brown here. And what I'm gonna do is buff this into the green, but I'm gonna keep it lower than the green. I just want it focused right in the crease. In fact, I'm gonna mix a little bit of black in there as well because I want this to be really dark. So I'm mixing a little bit of black in there as well from the palette. What this is doing is just really deepening up that crease. We've still got the green coming through, but as you can see, it adds like a lot more like definition to the eye. Next, I'm gonna take this little bullet brush from the Beauty Bay Iconic brush set and go back in with that original green color and just start to ever so slightly blend out the edges of the green. And what this is gonna do is just kind of put the green back in, but also start to blend it out. So when we add our next color, everything's gonna to blend together really seamlessly. So as you can see, it really makes a difference because it just buffs the outer corner out so nice. So to blend that out even further, I'm gonna take a Zoeva 228 brush and this shade here from the palette, kind of like a really neutral light brown. This is one of the shades that I never thought I would use from this palette, but I actually love it. And what I'm gonna do is just start to buff out the edges of the green with this kind of like neutral brown. It just kind of like blends that edge between the green and your skin, just kind of make sure everything's diffusing nicely and keeps everything nice and rounded. And so when I'm blending this outer corner, I'm bringing it round. I'm not flicking it out like I normally do. I'm bringing the shadow round. This piece of hair is really gonna do my head in when I'm editing, I just know it. <laughs> so going back in with the Beauty Bay Iconic brush and the green shade from the palette, I'm just gonna buff that back in again in circular motions using a really light hand and letting the brush and the product do the work for me but still keeping that structured round shape. I'm gonna keep swapping between that and the Zoeva 228 just to make sure we've got a nice seamless blend between both of those. 
Then going back in with the first brush that we used from the Beauty Bay Iconic brush set, I'm going to dip back into the brown and the black that we used and recreate that shape again just to make sure that we've not lost the structure of the spotlight eye. So I'm just putting that shape back in and making sure it's really defined so we've still got that structured shape. Because if we lose that, then there's no point in us even doing a spotlight eye anyway. <laughs> and then I'm swapping back to the brush with the green on and just making sure that's all blended out. So now for the fun part, we're going to pop a little bit of shimmer on the spotlight part of the eye. And today I'm going to use the Jordana T-shirt Base and Sparkle in the shade Twinkle Bell. These are amazing products. You kind of look like a cream eyeshadow on the top and a loose pigment underneath. So for this, I'm going to use a Zoeva 234 Look Smoky Shader Brush. It's just kind of like one of these flat brushes. And I'm going to go straight in with the cream product first. And what I'm going to do is build that up in the centre of my lid, starting from the bottom. Now we're here. <laughs> and I'm just going to pack it on at first. And I'm avoiding this inner corner and I'm avoiding the outer corner. I'm going to work slowly upwards and outwards until I get my desired shape. But you want to keep it like very central. So I'm just packing that right on. And I'm really taking control of my brush as well. I'm making sure that I'm not going too above or too below. So when you look forward, you can clearly see where the shimmer is and where the mattes are either side. That's what you want. So now that the cream product is on, I'm gonna go in with the pigment below. And I'm gonna use the same brush. So I'm just taking small amounts of that product at a time. And I'm gonna pack that all over where we put the cream shade. <sighs> How nice is that? Sorry, but that is so nice. And what the cream shadow does underneath is it really intensifies the pigment above it because they both match so well. Then I'm taking that brush that we used for the black and I'm just going to buff the edges of this just to make sure that everything is blending together nice and seamlessly. So that's the top part of the eyes done. I'm going to move on to the waterline and I'm going to use my favourite brown eyeliner which is MAC Coffee. I literally love this brown eyeliner so much. I love putting brown in the waterline rather than black. I don't know why, I just feel like it looks way better on me. So I'm just going to whack that straight in. And then I'm going to move on to the lower lash line. So I'm going to use... So we have a 231. So with the 231, I'm going to dip into the green shade that we used in the James Charles palette. And as always, I'm just going to run that straight on my lower lash line. Honestly, every time I use this brush, I just can't get over how perfectly it deposits the right amount. Like I've just scribbled that on and it looks like semi good. And then I'm just joining those two up at the corner. Then I'm taking that Zoeva 228 brush and the muted brown colour that we use. And I'm just going to run that right underneath the green just to kind of like blend that out into the skin. Then I'm taking a Zoeva 230 pencil brush and a mix of the black and brown shade from the James Charles palette. And I'm just gonna run that right on my lower lash line, but making sure I'm not taking it as low as the green, because I want that to just kind of like smoke out the liner in the waterline, if that makes sense. Then for my inner corner highlight, I'm actually gonna take a highlighter. This is the ColourPop highlighter in Thimble which is a beautiful like champagne gold shade. I've actually been really enjoying using Colourpop products at the moment. Like the more I use them, the more I realise like how good they actually are. Like I'm obsessed with the no filter concealer. Like I've only just started trying that when I got it in PR and I just love it. Like I just think it's so amazing. And then I went to have a look at ordering some more and um, I was so shocked. It was like $6. I was like, what? All right guys, I'm gonna pop some mascara and some lashes on and I'll be back right with you to finish off the face. All right guys, so mascara and lashes are on. These are the Flutter Lashes in the style Intoxicating. I've not worn these in ages, so I'm kind of happy to be wearing them again. So I'm gonna move on to my face and lip. So I'm gonna finish off with the Colourpop Highlighter in Thimble, which is the one that we used on the inner corner. Now, I'm gonna apply this with a brush, but I don't know what the best way to apply the Super Shock Cheek Formula is because it's kind of like creamy and spongy, but so is the Beauty Bay one and I use my brush for that. So I'm just gonna go in with like little bits at a time. I don't wanna like overdo it, but I haven't set this area anyway. So it should be fine if I work in like really light. So if anyone knows the best way to apply the Super Shock formula, let me know. Cause usually like with cream products, people say sponges, but we all know how I feel about sponge. No, thank you. So I'd rather just kind of like build it up slowly with my brush and kind of like diffuse it if it's kind of like a cream to powder product. But I'm kind of new to the like whole Colourpop Super Shock formula thing. So 
anyone's got any suggestions then let me know but so far I really really love this it's kind of like a subtle highlight not too like blinding which is kind of nice it's kind of refreshing actually it's just kind of like a like a glide on you know it's not kind of like that beaming highlight that has that like cast on it does anyone know what I mean when I'm saying that and I feel like when you apply these kind of like cream highlights with a brush it does kind of like make them less intense as opposed to using like a sponge or your fingers or whatever but yeah I really I really like that that's kind of nice so for lip, I'm going to use the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in London. I've had this lip liner for ages, but I've just never really like used it. And then I got this lip gloss in PR and I absolutely love it. It's the Colourpop So Juicy Plumping Gloss. And this is in the shade Intersection. And I really, really like using this. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's like the peppermint or what, but I actually love this lip gloss. And it's so like glittery and just juicy. Alright guys, so that's the final look complete. I hope you all enjoyed how to do this kind of like green soft spotlight look. I'll be doing a cut crease spotlight in the next video or Sunday's video. It's definitely coming this week because spotlights is something that you guys said you struggle with a little bit. So I thought I'd do a tutorial for a soft spotlight and a tutorial for a cut crease spotlight as well. Everything that I've used in today's video will be listed in the description box below. But before you leave, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and leave me a lovely little comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!